me, me, me. Okay, that's good. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to my video tutorial series on developing your own custom zombies map. Now, this is going to be for World at War, but it will transfer over to the new Black Ops 3 mod tools that are going to be released shortly. So, uh, with all that aside, let's make sure you guys have everything. Now, first thing you want to do is download and install the mod tools that are going to help you develop your own map. Now, I do have a part one video on how to do that, how to download them, how to install them. And there is a part two on how to download and install UGX Script Placer. Now, with all those files hooked up and on your PC, you're ready to start developing your own custom zombies map. Blah, blah, blah. Now, first thing you want to do, open up Radiant. Click on that. Just give it a second. And here we go. This is Radiant. This is the program you're going to use to make your own custom zombies map. You're going to be hype. Nipples are going to be jumping. Let's get started. So, first thing you want to do, you're going to see this white screen. You're going to want to change the color of this screen. Now, this is the 2D window. This is the 3D window. This is your texture window. And this is the up and down manipulator. So, uh, first thing you want to do, go to MISC. Go to Colors. Go to Themes. And you have five themes to choose from. Me, I like mapping on the gray one. Click it. Let's do it. All right, there you go. Nice theme. It is easy to see. And once you actually start getting far into mapping, you're going to notice that this is the best theme because you're going to be able to see everything clearly and you're not going to have any issues trying to figure out where things are and what's what. So this is my preference of mapping. So let's do this. So first thing you want to do is uh, mess around with the 2D window. Now, there's three views on the, on the 2D window. There's top, says it right over here. If you hit control and tab, you can switch to the other view. It's going to be front and hit control and tab. And it's going to show you side. So there's three views. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, control, hold control, press tab. And that's how you go through the three views. You know, you can choose whichever one you're going to be using at that moment. So... Let's say you want to drag out a brush, make a wall, make a box, make something. Left click on the mouse on this canvas over here, the 2D window. Left click and drag it out. And if you notice on the, 3, on the 3D window, it's actually making something. It's pretty cool. It's coming alive. I love it. All right, so there's your first brush. Now, by default, it's going to be put to this gray, ugly looking thingamajig there. So you're going to want to change the textures. That way, whenever you make a brush, it'll start off with a default texture. Or at least the texture that you have selected at that moment. So in order to do that, go to textures. Now, these are your three babies right here. Usage, local, locale, surface type. Now, we're going to be going under usage, and we're going to be going to tools. That way to show you all the tool textures. And here you go. Ambient, auto save, auto adjust. BCS, cock, cock shadow. Sounds funny. But this is the one we're going to be picking, cock. Click on that. And there you go. It actually textured the brush that we just made. It's a beautiful day. So once you have that textured, you know, in order to manipulate it, you have to left click on it on the outside while the brush is selected. And you can move it around, make it bigger, make it smaller. And. There you go. All right, now let's say if you want to change the view. Like I said, hold control, press tab, and it'll put it in the front view. That way you can see it from the side. Hit control tab, it'll show you on the side view. See how they all look different? That's going to help you while you're mapping. All right, so while we're on the top view, it says right on the top, on top, you know, uh, let's make it a certain size. You always want to go aligned with the boxes. You know, that way shit is even. And while you're mapping, and let's say if you're making a room, you know, everything's going to be equal. The sizes and the way you're manipulating everything, it's going to come out perfect. So always have the same amount of boxes on each side. You know, that's if that's generally a preference. For me, it tends to work out a little bit better when I'm adding other things into the map. 
So for right now, that little canvas brush that we have right over here, it's going six boxes across. When I say boxes, it's because I'm counting these big square boxes. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. Notice it's flush on the line. I'm going three and three, three and three. So basically, I'm having the blue little uh, it's merging middle of it. And there's going to be boxes all around it. So control tab, put it under the surface. Like I like, I tend to like putting this under the blue line because it makes it easier to see where the floor starts. So that's going to be good right there. And I press escape and there it is. Now let's say if you want to select it again, either you can do it on the 2D window, hold shift, press left click, it'll select it. Click it again, it'll unselect it. Left click, left click. Meanwhile, you're holding shift in order to do that. So there you go. All right. Now let's say you want to make a wall. Right now, this is a floor. So we're going to drag out a brush, same way. And of course, you make them bigger or smaller by dragging on the outsides. Up, down. See? So right there, I have one wall. Hit Control Tab, change the view. Right now, we're on the top view. So I'm going to hit Escape so I can get out of that texture. I already have it, or at least that brush. I already have it the way I want it. I'm going to drag out another one, press escape, see you made a second one, I'm going to drag out another, there's a third, we already have three walls, of course you need four to make a room, and there you go, there's your first room, it looks cool, alright, now let's make a ceiling, now either you can just drag it up on the top, and then hit control tab to change your view and then move it up. Now let's say if you want to move around in the 3D window, you right click on the mouse and you move back, forward, left, or right. That way you can move the camera around and you can look around. See? Let's say if you want to move up and down, hold control and do the same thing. Left click, actually right click, and then move in the direction you want to move with the mouse. There you go. Or else you can use the arrow keys. Left, right, up, down. There you go. So we just made our first room. Now let's texture it. Now of course you can always hold shift, left click, select the brush you want to color, and then Let's go over the textures. Like I said, these are your three babies right here. We're going to go to usage. You can leave it on all, and it'll show you all the textures that are in the game files. And look over here. Scroll down. And pick whatever texture you want. You know, right now it's showing us all the textures. I kind of want it to be in categories. So I'm going to go over the textures again. Usage. And... If you look further down, there's interior wall, interior trim, exterior wall, exterior trim, uh, ceiling, roof, ground, floor, road, door, window, furniture, trench, damage, damage. All right, but you get the point. There's a whole bunch of different ones. So right now we're going to go to interior wall. That way it'll show us all the interior wall textures. And here we go. There's a lot to choose from. Let me move this up a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit better. So let's pick one. All right, I'm going to pick this one because it has a little brown up and down out, out, outline. Press escape. And there you go. It just colored it. Now let's say, uh, in fact, let me move the ceiling up a little bit more so I can see the texture better. There you go. So there you go. Hold shift, left click. Clicked on that one. Let's click some more. Click on that one, left click. Hold shift, left click. So we have those three selected. Click on that material again. And bow, it colored it. Hit escape to get out. And it's textured. Now let's do the floor. Hold shift, left click. 
let's go to floor textures. So go to textures, usage, let's go to floor. And it shows you a bunch of floor textures. Now, everybody tends to pick this one. This is kind of boring. I kind of like a little bit more pizzazz with my kind of textures. So I'm picking this one right over here. Hit escape, and there you go. We're already starting off with the first room. Now let's do the ceiling. Hold shift, left click. Textures, usage, ceiling. And here we go. Yeah, let's pick uh, let's pick this one. Hit escape. And let's take a look at it. Now let's say if you want to shift your head up, hold control and shift. And left click, no right click. And you can move the mouse up or down, left or right. It's basically like putting a first person perspective. That way he's turning his head. It's kind of like a daisy bop. So it's, it's looking pretty good already. All right. Now, if you move outside of the box, you see that it's textured also. Move to the top. You see the top is textured. Look to the bottom. It's also textured. Now, when you're in this room, you're not going to be seeing the outer textures. So it's always best to just texture the faces that you're going to be seeing. So in order to do that, last time we pressed and held shift and then we left clicked. Hold shift, left click, it selects everything. You see it selected right over here. Now hold control and shift and left click and then you only click the face. That way if you go to the outside, it's not selected. So you can just color the, the inside. So let's do that again. Hold control, hold shift, left click, it just picks that face. Same thing. Put this as this texture. Let's move to the outside. And bow, there's two different textures. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go back to that old texture I was using. If you want to look at the, te let's say if you don't want to keep jumping from texture to texture and you already had one in use, just press U for for um, stands for usage. Press U, and it'll show you the textures you're currently using. So uh, let's Control and Shift, left click, click that face. This one, this one, and this one, and we're gonna change it back to this one. Bow, hit Escape, and there you go. All right. Now let's say uh, you want to cut a hole. You know, you can also scroll in with the 2D window. You know, just put the mouse over it. If it's not moving, just click on it and it'll start moving. All right. So uh, right now you want to be on the at a certain grid. Like these boxes, these are the grid. So right now it's on, um, let's go to grid. It's right next to textures. And it's on 0 0.5 where you really can't see any mini boxes. If you click on one doesn't have any. Click on two. Oh, there's some. They're popping up. Now you can scroll in because, uh, of course, if you're scrolling back, you're not going to see them as easy. And you see, let's put it on grid eight. Bow. Look at those boxes. Now it makes it a lot easier for you to know the height on what you're doing things. Let's cut a hole inside of this wall here. All right, so whichever wall you want to manipulate, meaning you want to cut in a little hole, put in a door, put in a window, you know, just put in something, you know, just punch your fist through it, just click it, hold shift, left click. Of course, whenever you're going to cut a hole into something, you can't control and shift because you want to modify the whole brush, not just one side of it. So hold shift, left click, select the brush. Now, let's say if you're at a different angle, of course, hit Control and Tab, and then go right in front of it. Now, let's say we want to put in a door right here. And, you know, we're going to cut in the hole. So, we're going to use the Cut tool. Now, in order to use the Cut tool, you have to press X. So, let's press X. 
And then we're going to look for a line where we want to cut a hole into, or at least cut a line through. So I'm going to go in the middle of this box right here. I'm going to go four and four right in the middle of it. I'm going to click on it. It's going to put a one. It's going to put a dot and a one. And then if you put another one, it'll actually show you where it's cutting. So right now it has, it's just showing you where it is in order for it to actually do it. You have to hold either press enter and it'll delete one of the faces. But if you want to keep both and just see where the cut is, hold shift, press enter. And there you go. Now it actually split up this brush into two pieces, one and two. So now let's do it again. You know, this time pick this part and press X. Click on the line where you want to start cutting. Put two dots. Hold shift, press enter. And there you go. Hit escape. Now we have three. All right, so let's click on the middle one. We can move it up. We can move it down. We can move it in. You know, of course, clicking on the outer sides to manipulate it. But let's leave it where it was. And let's just put in a little door frame. So I'm going to move it up. Don't move it up to the top because that door is kind of too big. I say one box and a half is a good size for a door. Hit escape. And there you have it. There's the door. Now, of course, when you cut something, it's going to put it back to its original texture or the texture that wasn't textured. So uh, in order to color these little faces that are there, you know, hold control, press shift and left click. That way you can select the face, do it to this one. And then we're going to click the texture again. And there you have it. Now it's actually colored. Now let's say if you want to cut out a window, you know, let's pick this wall. Zoom out a little bit so we can see it easier. Hit press X. Two dots here. Shift, enter. Two dots here. Shift, enter. Let's do it again. One dot, one dot there. Shift, enter. One dot, one here. One there. Shift, enter. And there you go. Now, let's unselect everything. Press escape. And hold shift and pick the part that you want to use. So right now it's that one. If you want to delete it completely, hit backspace. And it deletes it. And there you go. Now you have a door and you have a window. Now, of course, it did split up the brush into different parts. So you can click on this one, move it down or up. You know, if it's too big, too small, adjust it to the way you want it. There's this one, you see? You can actually move two brushes. But of course, you don't want them intersecting. See how it's intersecting right here? You don't want that because uh, you'll notice it while you're playing your game. So always try to have them um, not touching each other. Well, touching, but not intersecting. And uh, same thing, this texture of the inside. Home control, press shift, left click. Whoop, not that one. Move the camera around. And there you go. Let's put it with this texture. Hit escape and bow. It's a totally different texture. Or else we can hit control shift. Let's say if you did something that you didn't want to do. Like let's say I did that. And when you click on it, you see it's in there. Hold control, press Z, and it'll undo. Hit escape and now it's back to where it was. So if it's there, hold control, press Z, it'll go right back to it. And Bob's your uncle. So there you go. All right, so uh, let's keep manipulating this. Let's get used to it. So uh, now that I showed you guys how to cut, pressing X and then dragging dots. Actually, uh, the reason it's not doing it because the brush isn't selected. Click on that. Press X, one there, one there. See, it'll cut it on the side, depending on how you put the dots. One here, one here. 
Shift enter. Bow. There you go. All right, so control Z. Let's put that back to the way it was. All right, now let's cut a face out on this one. Now, instead of pressing X and doing that, we're going to drag out a brush uh, right on top of it. Hit, go to the 2D, hit control tab so you can switch your view. Control tab. That way we can look at it. All right. Once you select it and then you get out and you drag out a brush, it puts it right where the brush is. So it's right on that wall if you look at it. You see? Now, this is the second brush in there. Now, remember what I said about merging them? In this case, it's okay because we're going to cut out a hole using the brush that we're making. So we're doing that, doing it like that. And let's say you want to cut out a hole. Right over here, under brush, there's a little box called CSG Subtract. Now, this is actually wherever you put a brush into another brush and you click that button, it'll delete where the brush is. So if you press escape and you move it, you see there's a hole there now. All right. It was so hard for me to get holes before. Now it's working. But uh, either ways, that's a pretty cool way to do it. You know, and you can just, let's say if you want the window same size everywhere, subtract, move it over, subtract, delete that one, and there you go. You have three windows. Now, mess around with it. This is the best way for you to learn how to map is you, you know, tinkering around with it, getting to know the, you know, the features. Okay, guys, the last tip before I head off into the sunset and uh, start making my part two video, I'm going to show you guys the hollow tool. It's actually the tool right next to CSG subtract. You know, this is what you use to actually cut a hole. And this one looks like a box with little lines around it. So that's actually going to make the four walls, the ceiling, and the floor. So, of course, you want to drag out a brush. You know, it's look at that square right there. Now, if you move inside of it, you see that it's empty. You can't even see anything because it's not hollow. It's solid. So what you want to do is press the hollow tool. Now, before you press the hollow tool, if you look at your grid, that's how thick the walls are going to be. So if you shrink down the grid, put it on four, see it made it smaller, the boxes, it'll actually make the wall that thick, the first box next to it. So I'm going to put it back on eight, and I'm going to press the hollow tool, and bow. It made four walls, a ceiling, and a floor. Press escape, and there you go. Now, the reason I don't like using this method is because when you click on the face, you can see they're in they're um, intersecting, and you don't really want that because it's going to give you compile errors. You know, you load up your map, you're going to be crying like a schoolgirl. So you really don't want that. So, but in order to fix this, you know, it's the old school way. Just drag the brush down, drag it up, hit Control Tab, make sure it's not intersecting. You know, but the amount of time you're wasting fixing this, you could just do it the old school way and just make the four walls and the floor and the roof yourself. But it's still a cool way of doing things. So uh, that's pretty much it. If you like the video, hit that like button. And uh, if you're not already, subscribe for future content and future videos. And, uh, you know, show me some love. I'll see you guys in part two. Latest.